Okay, um, starting off with the two BK1s, and I have them labeled as BK1 and BK2. And the reason I have them on the back, a little piece of paper on the back, is so that you know which one really is kind of one and two, because you might end up with three, four, five later on. And I think that's it's beyond the scope of me how they do all this kind of stuff. It's a little bit perplexing. But uh, anybody else that has some information, would really appreciate sharing it so that if you have three, four, or five riders, I can help you out with getting two riders paired up right here. Um, initially, if you want to take any race to the memory banks on these for any reason, which I've had to do several times uh, after playing with them, get rid of all the information on these. No, first thing to do is make sure they're in the off position, no power, and they're charged. Little well, charging jack is right here, that one. And then um, make sure all of your Bluetooth items that may have been paired to this or talking to it are off. Your telephones, speakers, iPads, GPSs, anything like that that might talk to them have to also not be communicating with them. So just turn your uh, Bluetooth uh, stuff off on your telephone and such. So what we do first is we, um, to reset these, just as though we're turning them on, hold the button down, three quick blue flashes followed by, I call them quick, and these are slow flashes. So you just get the two LEDs with the slow flash, continue, that means in standby mode it's not doing anything. You can do these separately, or you can do them uh, both at the same time, I'm just kind of playing with them at the same time. So they're both turned on, they're both in the standby mode, nothing is going on right now. Now if I want to reset these, you hold this thing down right here. Now if I were to let go right now, it just turn off, but I'm going to continue to hold it until we get the red and the blue very, very quickly flashing. Then what you do is you hold down the plus. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a plus there. You hold the plus until these things turn purple. There they are. And you get one purple, two purples, three purples, four, five. That erased the memory banks. Now it's just going to shut itself down. So three quick red flashes there. There's actually a blue one and I think three reds. But anyway, it's shut off, but it's erased. Let's do the same thing with this. Hold it down. And again, to turn it off, we just let go right now. But I'm going to continue to hold it. We have the red and the blue quickly flashing. Hit the plus sign until you get purple. There it is. Those are purple. One, two, three, four. Now you get the blue and three reds. They're shut down. What you've just done is erased everything. You're kind of starting from something new. Now when you first get them from factory, they say they're actually paired and they're going to be paired on channel A. So they've been, they're talked to each other and They've decided to talk to each other not only through Bluetooth but on a channel of A through Bluetooth. And uh, just a quick deal, there is channel A, channel B, channel C, I think they actually want you to hit the A and the plus, and channel D, you hit the B and the minus. So it's kind of weird. I really think they should have A, B, C, D or at least have something set up and uh, you could do that um, by plugging something in or more buttons on them. So now if we want to pair these together, turn them back on, turn this one on, and what you do is you hold down the channel you want them to communicate on. I, let's say I want these to communicate together on channel B. So if I hold B down, And then I'm going to hold B down on this one. It's flashing blue, saying it's ready to communicate on B. This one's ready. Now, put them together. This one needs to talk to that one. They just kind of do it on their own. So they went steady now. Can take up to a minute or two. And now they're back in standby. So what they really said was, B is now talking to B. Sounds weird. And it's, B uses blue. These flash blue, that flash blue. Try to figure that out. All right, now let's just say I don't want to do that. Let's just say I want them. And anytime I do it, I just start over. So I'm not even going to fool around right now because I don't want to waste time on the video. I'm going to shut them both off. There they are. They're both off. Now I'm going to reboot them by turning them back on. Just a cold boot. 
with the normal on off process. Here it comes back on. Now let's just say for some reason, I don't know, we got some neighbor or a bicycle trip or something and some other people are using channel A, we don't want to use it. For whatever channel, for whatever reason, we want them to communicate rather than B before, we want them to go on to A. Same thing. Hold this down now. A is actually red, so I'm going to expect red flashes. There's red, so it says, hey, we're waiting for another one to come up that's got red. So let's hit this one. Bring that up. Red. Set them next to each other. And eventually, they'll talk to each other, connect up on channel, uh, establish linkage, connect up on channel B, and uh, let's see how long it takes this time. Connect up to a minute at A. Well, I'm trying to get A to connect right now. B seemed to connect pretty quick. And I've waited up to like a minute for these, maybe a minute and a half. Let's just keep watching. Good company, Card Cardo, uh, the 1-800 number they have in their manual. They do answer the phone. Uh, they're in the USA. Once these, you get past the quirks of them and all, the actual communication is really good. And watch my video on how to bring the microphone sensitivity up to high, which has helped out a lot because my voice seems to come across fine, but my girlfriend, when she talks, it doesn't seem to pick up very well. So we've turned the microphone sensitivity a little mic here so that it's high sensitivity it picks up her voice a little bit easier I think because of the tone these guys are still trying to communicate um, I'm a little perplexed as to why it takes too, so long but I believe that they're going to connect up if not I'll start over completely come on guys talk to each other This is what's really, uh, I can imagine, just be incredibly frustrating and very quirky for people that are trying to get this. There they went, right there. So again, this took like probably over, right around two minutes or so. That one now has gone back to standby. So it now is on channel A. This one now has finally gone to channel A. And they're in the standby mode. So, wow, what a great video. I hope I save you guys some great time. Um, and this is how to erase them and establish Bluetooth communication on, I showed channel B initially, now it's on channel A. The blue once uh, slowly just means that they're in uh, standby. Now what I do is just take these, clip them into here, clip them in on my girlfriend's helmet, and then uh, you guys can watch my video on how to uh, establish an open communication intercom line for chatting.